Hello again, lovely people. I was watching a film the other day called um, The Beekeeper, starring Jason Statham. It was, uh, as you'd expect, a violent action thriller. If you've never seen it, I don't think I'm going to spoil it for you by telling you that the baddies were um, like uh, hipster computer geeks who uh, used the internet to scam people out of their savings. Um, when it showed these people on their days off, like, these um, singing bowls were heavily um, featured for some reason. No, not why. Seems to be um, bad publicity to me, you know, being associated with the criminals. So, I thought I'd have to mention that to um, get to the fact that the uh, it reminded me that I was given one for Christmas. Now, um, it's not as random a present as you might think, because um, I've always been interested in martial arts, you know, Chinese philosophy and things like that, you know, leading on to um, first time all karate, bagua, tai chi, qigong, stuff like that. Probably sparked by um, the TV series Kung Fu starring David Carradine in the early 70s. Also from a lesser known TV series called The Water Margins, which was very good. Um, so they knew I was uh, sort of open to a bit of Eastern uh, philosophy or mysticism or wisdom. This is uh, from a little company called Silent Minds, or Silent Mind, from Nepal. A lot of their profits or whatever goes into uh, helping rebuild the place from um, the earthquake they had there. What you get is a little brass bowl. I have no idea whether this is cast, pressed out, or beaten. But it's um, heavily etched with the uh, designs both inside and out. And then it's polished around the rim. There's a reason for that in a minute. Uh, and there's a lot of work gone into that. A lot of time and effort been made put into that. It's quite a nice thing just to look at. You get a little pillow to put it on. Otherwise it doesn't ring. And you get a striker or a donger. I just call it a donger. So um, you can do it two ways. You know, if you hold it in your hand, it does actually ring, but uh, not much. First time I heard it, does um reminded me of the ringing in my ears the first time I heard a Carl Gustav anti-tank rifle being fired. You have no idea. <laughs> That's another negative connotation for it. You can ring it either with the wooden end. You can hear the sound ringing. Or with a, it's got a leather end. Quite a softer sound. Now, um, I thought, although it's been proved that uh, sound and vibration does have a, an effect on the body or the mind, anybody making outrageous claims about this should be taken with a large pinch of Himalayan salt, I would think. But, uh, as you can see, you get a nice little pillow to rest it on and the thing. Also, used in meditation or um, mindfulness. I'm probably never going to use it for. There, yeah, got it going. The vibration of the leather on the polished surface. Sometimes get it to resonate and sort of sing.
actually got it going quite well then. Nice and loud. So, I'll probably never use it for what it's made for like that to do that. But it, and the mindfulness is, is you have to sort of concentrate on what you're doing. I just like it. I'm a bit of a magpie. I just like things that look nice. And I can quite confidently predict that these things will be turning up in junk shops, car boot sales, and you'll be able to pick them up for a couple of quid. So at the moment I've got one. I wouldn't mind betting that in a couple of years I might have three or four of them. So hope you like my videos. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, Send me a comment, whatever you like. But um, thanks for watching. Bye.